In April of 2022, we came out of private beta and released Warp on Mac. People really fell in love with our modern UX, auto completions, and recently developers have got a lot of value out of our AI capabilities. Using agent mode, developers can type in natural language to accomplish any task in the terminal. We've expanded this to voice, so now you can speak directly with agent mode. But there was one question we kept on getting. When is Warp coming to Windows? Well, we're finally ready to ship it out. So 90% of Warp's code compiles exactly the same on Mac, Linux, Windows, and the web. However, there's a bunch of interesting technical work that goes into getting that final 10% working on Windows. The three biggest challenges in supporting Warp on Windows are rendering pixels on the screen, handling text, and supporting different shells. All three of these things need separate handling to make them work with our rich text editor and output blocks. And you do this on Unix using something called the PTY. But that's not how Windows works. There isn't really a concept of this PTY. A few years ago, Windows built kind of this emulation layer called ConPTY. We realized ConPTY couldn't actually support escape sequences in the right way. The ordering wasn't right. As an example, you don't want to say, hey, command A ended, followed by command A started, right? That, that doesn't really make any sense. And then the other issue is like, we wouldn't always even get back the hooks at all. There were cases where ConPTY would swallow it entirely. We had to fork ConPTY in order to kind of support the semantics we needed for that shell integration to work. At the same time, there were also a lot of Windows-specific features we needed to build out to match the quality of the experience on Mac and Linux. I worked on implementing secure storage, using the registry to store user preferences, color and theming, loading system fonts, and I worked on creating and bundling that installer and making it usable for everyone. We we're heavily inspired by like Windows Terminal. You have this new tab button, but right next to it, there's a drop down. Once I open this, I have you know all of my WSL distributions like Git Bash, so I can open PowerShell. I'd say there's a very deep rabbit hole of things you could build to more closely emulate some of the nice things that Windows Terminal has. You don't really get the resources and the time to build everything. I guess one example is, is, is Git Bash. Git Bash ended up being harder than any of us thought. It works a lot like Bash would on a Unix system, except on Windows. So you can obviously use like Git, LS, move or MV, um, remove or RM. Some difficulties that came in supporting Git Bash were it turns out that spawning a process on Git Bash is quite expensive. One problem this led to was the prompt took a very long time to update, and so we're working on making that faster by actually totally changing how we communicate between the shell and the terminal and changing our serialization method from escaping and using like JSON to send the, the prompt and then like the next directory to warp to using like key value pairs to get around this sort of bottleneck of spawning processes. Um, so yeah, that's some of the work that I wanted to give Bash. I asked some engineers who've been working on warp on Windows over the past year what this meant to them, and here's what they had to say. Closest analogy would be like maybe the first time like you tried VS Code. where it's hard to pinpoint like one killer feature that Warp has in my opinion, because um, there's a lot. I don't think there are any terminals on Windows where you can position the cursor by clicking the mouse at a certain point. Um, so being able to do that um, is really nice. Being able to hit tab and see like a graphical menu instead of a single suggestion kind of cycle through. Again, just a really nice little bit of Flare. For us to have ported Warp to such a completely different operating system is something I'm really happy about and proud of. And I'm really excited for people who haven't gotten to experience Warp yet to see what a better terminal looks like on Windows. 
From the beginning, Warp's mission has been to empower developers to ship better software more quickly. The world is changing very, very quickly right now for developers, and I've never been more excited by our progress than I am right now. If you've been an existing Warp user for a while, I want to say thank you. Thank you for using it. Thank you for all your feedback. If you're just getting started with Warp, I'm really excited to hear what you think. And I'm really hopeful that it transforms the way that you do development and helps you ship better software more quickly. So thank you all. Available now. I like Too it. Too much? No, that was good. Okay. Okay.